In this video, I'm gonna test the features of Kittle for uploading your own graphic as well as your own font. And we're gonna see how fast we can create a design themed for Thanksgiving for t-shirts and mugs. And I'll show you a feature in Kittle that is really helpful for designing mugs that you cannot do in Canva. So stick around. Hey everybody, I had to interrupt for a minute just because I need to point out that Kittle now has a feature so that you can apply a texture to just your design and clip it so that it is not visible in the background. So the way that you do that is just come over to your little left menu here and go down to the bottom option, which is textures, find a texture that you like, apply that texture to your design by selecting it. It will apply that texture to the entire artboard that you have. You can then come over to the right side of the menu. You can change the opacity if you want to, but the main feature I wanna point out is where it says clip content. If you change that little toggle button, it will now clip that texture so that it only applies to the area of your design and it is not visible anywhere on the transparent background. So now when we export this, we'll get just this transparent PNG file and the texture will only be visible on our design. Now the catalog of graphic elements and templates is expanding every day on Kittle. So chances are over time, they're gonna have the things that you're looking for. But right now, let's say that we have a graphic in mind that we wanna use for a Thanksgiving themed t-shirt, and we also wanna put that same design on a mug. So the first thing we're gonna do on Kittle is create a new project, and I'm not gonna use a template in this case because I am going to upload the graphic that I found that I want to use. So I'm gonna resize my project board here, and I'm gonna start with the t-shirt size, and you can change the background color or you can hide it by going down to the layers option here. When you click on that, that expands, and it kind of works just like the Photoshop layers menu where you can hide individual layers, you can also grab and drag them to reorganize them. All right, so first things first, let's upload the graphic that we wanted to use for this design. To do that, we're just gonna come over to the little menu on the left side of the screen and go to uploads. And there we're gonna select upload media. They allow you to upload PNG, JPEG, and SVG files. And there we go, our file is uploaded. We can now select that one to add to our artboard. All right, so this is our graphic that we wanna use for our t-shirt and our mug. So we're gonna resize this to to start with, we'll center it. Now for the font. To upload the font, first we're gonna add some text. So we'll add a quick headline here. Now I'm gonna come over to the right menu where our font options are. And it's here in this menu where you have the font upload option. So click on the little font upload button here in the right corner of the font menu. And then you're going to get a little pop-up and you can choose fonts. And let's just say that I found this font on Creative Fabrica. It really, I think, goes well with the sort of 60s, 70s, retro vintage style of that graphic that I like. So I'm going to use this font. So I downloaded this one from Creative Fabrica first. So back in Kittle, I'm just going to click on that upload button. We will get a little pop-up here and we will select choose fonts. We will locate the font that we wanted. In this case, I'm gonna have to upload two because I want the outline and the fill font version of the of this font. So I'm going to do the regular one. I'm, you can do either open type font or true type font. That's what OTF and TTF stand for. I'm just going to do the true type font for each. Now in this second little menu here, you've got the name of the file and it asks you to give a name to the style. So if you are going to upload additional styles of the font, meaning bold, light, narrow, that type of stuff, you would just make sure the name is appropriate here, but there's only one of this one. So regular is fine. We'll just click on upload. And now you will find that font under your upload section of the font menu. There's peace and love font right there. And so there we go. It changes our font on our artboard to the one we selected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload the outline version of that same font. All right, so what I wanna do with this is actually use the outline and the fill to create a little bit of an effect here. So I'm gonna zoom in on my artboard and first I'm gonna change the color of this. All right, so I've changed the color to something I think I might like and now I'm going to copy this paste it, and I'm gonna change the second layer to the outline version. And then I'm gonna place it just so there's a little bit of separation. I might even make it just a touch bigger, just to give a little bit of an effect. You can also go with a different color for the outline if you want to, if you wanna have a solid black outline around it like that. It just kind of creates that cool little effect where you've got a little bit of a color gap between the solid font and the outline font. So it's almost like it was hand drawn and then colored in with a little bit of you know spaces around where it wasn't quite filled in. It's just kind of a neat effect. All right, so we just need to add the rest of the text here. So we're gonna copy, we're actually gonna highlight this. All right, now this one I'm gonna make larger here. Now I'm gonna change the color of this word real quick here. 
to match our pumpkin pie. Now, one other thing we can certainly do here is use Kittle's custom text transformations here. We can make a custom one where we move everything around a little bit, kind of make it wavy a little bit. And if you're gonna do that, what I recommend is actually not doing the outline first. I would recommend transforming your solid text first. So let's do our custom transformation here. All right, so let's, let's say we were happy with this transformation. Now I would copy this, paste it, and change the font to our outline version. Now would probably be a good time to group those two so I don't accidentally move them around. So I'm going to do control G to make sure they're grouped. And just for some extra touch here, I might add a couple of maple leaf style leaves. Ooh, you know, I actually think I like this leaf better. All right, let's use these instead. All right, so we're all set. There is our design. Now if we group this whole thing, hit control G there to group it all and then center it, it will center all the elements together. And we can actually, I think I'm gonna remake this a little bit larger since this is a t-shirt design so that it fills up more of the space. And there we go, there's our t-shirt design. We're ready to export this one. I'll turn off the background and we will go to export and I'll change the DPI to 300 and we can download this as a PNG or an SVG. SVGs work on Printify if you use Printify. So I'm gonna get mine as an SVG. And there we go, there's our design. We'll take a look at the preview and now I can move on to creating my mockups and my actual listing. So we'll save that. And now we are ready to also put that same design on a mug. Now, if the design is the correct aspect ratio to fit nicely on one side of a mug, I often just use the exact same print file. So let's do that. This is the 11 ounce mug from District Photo. We'll get that right out of our Printify library and then we'll just add it right here. Doesn't matter that there's too much blank space on the bottom. Now I want this to fill up as much of the side of the mug as possible while still being centered. So if I really want to fill up from the top of the safe line to the bottom of the safe line, that's the safe print area, meaning there's more of a guarantee that nothing's going to get cut off, then see what's happening here. The aspect ratio isn't quite right. It's a little bit too wide. And you can tell that by going into the preview. And the preview is going to tell you that, you know, this is not going to come out centered on the one side of the mug because what I'm going to do is duplicate this on the other side. So I have two choices. I can either downsize this until it's small enough that it fits more to the right. I don't like how small the design is now. Sure, this is acceptable. This is fine. I could sell it like this and move on. But the best thing to do would be for me to actually edit this file and change the aspect ratio, meaning make it more narrow. Here's where Kittle has an advantage over Canva. And the way to do that is to create a new project and then upload your exported design. The reason we have to do it that way is because you cannot take a text field and squish it. You can do it with graphic elements, but when something is still in text format, you can't do the whole pinch and stretch functionality that Canva does not let you do. So what we need is we need all the elements, the finalized image really in one single format so that it's not some text and some graphic elements. So to do that, we're just going to click new project, open a brand new project, go to our settings gear again. We're going to size this to a different size that's more suitable for mugs. I'm just going to do 4,000 by 4,000 pixel. Now we're actually going to go to the left menu again and go to uploads and we're going to upload the media again. So I'm just going to upload the PNG image. And the reason we have to do it this way is because again, you can't do what we need to do when all of the elements are separated when all of the text and graphic elements are still individual pieces. All right, so we've got the PNG uploaded and we're going to add that to our artboard. Now is where the magic happens. So grab one of the, go to the one of the corners, hold down the shift key and then move left. And if you're selected the one on the right, move right. And this is what Canva does not allow you to do with an image file. It does not let you pinch and stretch. And where this comes into play, especially is for designs that are more landscape, they're wider than they are tall. Or in our case, we're just trying to fill out the vertical space and it's too wide when we do that. And really all you're looking to do here is make it narrow until it's sufficiently more narrow than it was, but it doesn't look weird. For example, I would not go this far. That looks a little strange. You can tell that it's been manipulated and now I can still make it a little bit bigger to fill out the space. I'll center it, I'll turn off the background and I'm ready to export this again.
Now we'll get rid of these that did not work. Actually, I'm gonna leave one of them just to show you the difference. So we'll delete that one and there you go. Now, here's what that looks like. You can see it is much more narrow. Now, if you saw these side by side with each other, you'd think the one on the right looks a little weird, right? But remember, we're gonna get rid of that one on the left. So the longer you look at the one on the right, the less weird it looks. So now if we look at our mock-up here, we have a much better centering of the design on one side of the mug and we're still maximizing the vertical space. If anything, I may have pinched it a little bit too much, but I'm actually more satisfied with this than the way it looked originally because it's filling out more of that vertical space, but it is still centered. And now I'm ready to publish both the t-shirt and the mug designs that go well together. I probably also put this design on a sweatshirt because Thanksgiving's in the fall and a lot of the US has cool weather in the fall. So for Thanksgiving, it is definitely worth putting your designs on sweatshirts as well. So that's it. Just wanted to share that I think Kittle is working out well for me because it is really easy if I can't find exactly the thing I want, but I can find a graphic uh, somewhere else that I really, really like. The adding your own graphics and uploading your own fonts features seem to work very easily. And then resizing images, specifically the aspect ratio of them so that I can place them on mugs and really make it perfect just the way I want is very easy once you do this a couple times and I did not have to use Photoshop I did not have to use Photopia so let me know what you think in the comments below do you think having this feature is a big advantage over Canva basically do you agree with me that it's an important feature to have that Canva doesn't offer or do you think it's not a big deal I'm curious to know what you think about this in the comments so let me know what you think and if you found this video helpful do me a favor and hit that like button so more people can see the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you can be notified when I come out with new videos on the POD Insights channel. Thanks everybody. See you next time.